it's unavoidable. Accidents will happen in the lab. Today, we'll be talking about various lab hazards that you can come across while working in a lab. We will also be talking about lab safety. Your knowledge of lab safety will help minimize the likelihood of accidents. In this video, we'll walk you through every step of these precautions. What is a laboratory? It is a place or part of a building used for providing opportunity for experimenting scientific work. When working in a lab for the first time, look around and identify the location of safety equipment. Lab safety is important while conducting these experiments to prevent hazards from happening. Number one, wearing a proper lab attire, such as wearing a safety lab coat that must be fastened at all times. Gloves, which have different types according to the substance you're handling. Masks and other precautions, such as always keeping your hair held back. Number two. Paying attention while working and following instructions will help you avoid lab hazards. Number three, hazard symbols. Hazard symbols are a group of recognizable signs that are used to indicate which hazard you need to look out for. There are three types of signs, physical hazard signs, chemical hazard signs, and biological hazard signs. Physical hazards are present in all surroundings of the lab. You may find it in electrical equipment and instruments. You might see signs warning you about compressed gases. These containers hold compressed or liquefied gases, which can be used for a number of reasons, such as heating fuel devices or keeping materials and equipment cool. The gas in these cylinders is under a great pressure, which makes the cylinders highly dangerous. Number two, electrical hazards. Many pieces of lab equipment operate at very high voltages, so keep any liquid away from the instruments and never open any cover while an instrument is plugged in. Number three, lasers. If you work with lasers in your lab, your supervisor must provide you with specific operating procedures and safety information. Number four, thermal hazards. Many instruments used at the lab operate at high temperatures and can cause burns. Thus, heat-resistant gloves must be used while handling hot materials. On the other hand, low temperatures can also damage not protected skin. Thus, insulator gloves must be worn while handling cold items that are kept in the freezer. The radiation emitted by radiation hazards can cause cell damage or cancer. Right now, we'll be talking about chemical hazards. Many of the chemicals we use in the lab are dangerous. There are two ways to identify chemical hazards, safety data sheets and chemical labels. Number one, safety data sheets. Every chemical in the lab is required to have a document called safety data sheet formerly known as MSDS, which is an acronym for Material Safety Data Sheet. Safety data sheets are now organized into 16 sections, which is the perfect way to find out about the chemical properties, hazards, and safety precautions. Right now, we'll talk about chemical symbols. Number one, flammable hazards. Flammable hazards is where the container is occupied with flammable liquid gas or solid that can easily catch fire. Number two, corrosive substances. Corrosive substances cause a great damage to any surface that comes in contact with it. Number three, oxidizing hazards. They may contain an oxidizer, which is a chemical causing combustion through the release of oxygen. Number four, toxic hazards. These substances are poisonous if swallowed or breathed in. While dealing with toxic hazards, full face respiration must be worn. Right now, we'll be talking about biological hazards, which are also known as biohazards. Biological hazards, as microbes and viruses, are considered a threat to the health of living organisms, primarily humans. They also include biological agents introduced into experimental animals. These sources can cause a variety of health effects ranging from skin irritation and allergies into infections.
While dealing with biological waste, they must be placed in appropriate containers labeled with the biohazard symbol. At the end of this video, we'll be talking about what to do in different cases of emergencies. Number 1. If a flame exposure has occurred, move to the safety showers immediately. Number 2. Use the eye wash station if your eyes are exposed to hazardous chemicals. Keep your eyes open and thoroughly rinse for 10 minutes. Number 3. The first aid sign indicates the location of first aid books in the laboratory. All lab workers must undergo first aid training. Our take-home message in this video is to think safe in order to be safe.